Hey, we're going to show you how to change a head gasket on 2004 Volkswagen Jetta. It's a BEV engine and it's going to be the same as most other A and B series engines. We think that we have to replace the head gasket because of the sweet smell of the coolant out of the exhaust, the car overheats, and bubbles and frothing of the coolant in the bottle when the accelerator is pressed. The first step is now to uh, do the compression check. Take off the negative battery terminal. Take the wires out of the holders. Here's the spark plug cables and you undo the spark plug cables. To remove some of these spark plug cables, you might need to reach in there with some channel locks and yank them out. For the next step, you'll need a string like this and you'll need to run it through the center hole in the manifold and stick a wrench through the hole and then pull the string up really hard. The wrench should be 14 for 15 millimeter and when you put the wrench down here it should go on right here. You, if you have it you can take uh, some air and blow off the area around the spark plug so when you take it out, make sure the debris doesn't go. Remove the plugs. Use a universal socket to remove the uh, spark plug underneath the manifold. Underneath the radiator, there's going to be an engine splash guard. Take that off. You're, there's going to be screws like this. They're six-pointed stars. Next, you need to drain the coolant and you need to stick an oil pan underneath it. And to undo the coolant, there's going to be a knob like this, so it'll come out here. You, you, you twist it, you go, you twist it and pull it out, and then the stuff's going to drain out of here into the pan. Our heads are so big, we have to jack up the car. Always use a jack stand. Remove the two fuel lines, this one and this one. Now you can disconnect the smog valve. You can do it here or over here. Take the fuel line off by pushing this plastic piece up into the metal thing and then pulling it off. Make sure to cover up the fuel lines so dirt doesn't get in there. Remove these two sensors and these three clips. You grab here here and you pull. You take off the air intake hose with pliers, you push this together and pull it off right here and then with the Phillips screwdriver you take this thing off right here. Take off the air filter cover and then take out the air filter carefully. There's an upper manifold and a lower manifold. You have to take off the upper. You take this off by taking off this screw, this screw, this screw, and then two screws back here. We're behind the engine in the middle of the film is the first bulb. The second bulb can't be seen, but it can be felt. Next, remove these two bolts, this one and that one over there, behind the manifold. Thank you, VW, for putting these bolts here. You need a 5mm 
Allen wrench, you put it through the manifold into there, and then you take something like this, and then you can twist it to break it, and then you twist the rest off. The next things that need to come off are this, this, and this. All right, once with the mallet, you can leave this vacuum hose on here. Just pick up the manifold and set it aside. Remove this connector. Next, remove this, 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 and this. This is the cover for the two oxygen oxygen sensor connectors. Remove it. It's a 10 millimeter. Special slotted sockets you can use to remove that, but we don't have one of those. Um, beware, this last nut over here is a 5mm, not a 6mm. You have a lever holding back that thing. This probably isn't going to be manual approved, but you're going to take the cover off and then you're going to feed that core through the hole. These tabs hold on the timing belt cover.